Hello, good day. My name is Cecil L. Segovia and I am calling from St. Luke Hospital. Could I please speak with Mr. Mark Ivan Makapinig? Yes, ma'am. This is Mark Ivan. I am calling to collect some follow-up information regarding your recent blood test result. Before we begin, I just want to confirm your date of birth and address. Could you share those with me? I am Mark Ivan Makapinig, born on March 1, 2004, and resident of Tomarbong, Ross, Palawan. All of the information we talk about will be kept confidential and only who need, who need to know will have access to it. The information is only used to help us stop the spread of COVID-19 and make sure you are healthy. Everything is entered into a highly protected database. Is it okay if I continue? Yes, you may continue. Do you already know your diagnosis about SARS-CoV-2 test? Mom, not yet. Your SARS-CoV-2 test result from July 28 came back positive. I would like now to follow up on your diagnosis with COVID-19. I also want to go over next steps in taking care of yourself and preventing infection in others. I will ask a number of questions to get all the information that is needed to be to best determine how we can help you. Questions I will ask will cause basic information about you, any symptoms you have, exposure you may have had before, becoming sick, and contacts you may have had since you became sick. Is now a good time to talk? Yes, ma'am. This is a very important part of stopping the spread of the virus, and I appreciate your time and help to do this. What questions do you have at this point? I don't have any question at this point, ma'am. Thank you. We will get started. Feel free to stop me at any time with questions or if you need to get off the phone. I would like to tell you how COVID-19 spreads. It is spread through close contact with a person who is infected with a virus that causes COVID-19. Sometimes it's spread for a short time through the air when an effective, infected person coughs or sneezes. Have you had any symptoms of COVID-19? Yes, ma'am. I will go through a list of symptoms so you can tell me if you have had them recently. Some dry cough, fever, cold, diarrhea, dizziness, sneezing, or vomiting. I experienced dry cough. I will now ask what dates each symptom started. So I experienced dry cough. Do you have a healthcare provider? Yes, I have been health insurance that covers COVID-19. Where was your test done and what date was it done? It was... It was done at St. Luke's Hospital on July 28, 2022. Do you have any other current medical conditions? No, ma'am. I want to assure you that we will not release your name to your contacts and you are not required to personally notify them of their potential, potential exposure. It is very important to let your household contacts know that they should stay at home and quarantine for 14 days from the date of their last exposure to you. We would like to collect information on anyone who you have been in close contact or in proximate contact with, more than six feet but within an enclosed space for one hour or more. Beginning two days prior to your onset of illness and up until you started self-isolation. We are particularly interested in learning about anyone who is a household contact, those over 65, immunocompromised or those living or working in a congregate setting, serving a vulnerable population. We will reach out to your contacts to not notify and follow up with them. Your name will not be released to your contacts. Let's start with people who live with you. Please tell me the names of people who have been living with you beginning 48 hours before you started feeling sick or 10 days before you were tested if case is asymptomatic until today. It is very important to let your household contacts know that you are sick and that we will be following up with them shortly. I'm with my family and same of my friends. My family is Bitsaida Makapinig, Antonio Makapinig, Jeffrey Makapinig, Dakilin Makapinig, Jermalin Makapinig, and we live in the same house. So in interact with them every day. Next is my friends named Daryl Uptana and Christine Tero. I interact with them last day for almost 20 minutes. Now let's turn our attention to where you were 48 hours before you became sick. Again, I want to assure you that we will not release your name to your contacts and you are not required to personally notify them of their potential exposure. Did you work outside of the home at this time? No, ma'am. You 
any place else within 48 hours of becoming sick or 10 days before you were tested if case is asymptomatic until today? Two days ago, I just stay in our house in the morning and then in the afternoon, I play basketball with my two friends. And then evening, I just stay at home and the same routine goes on. Finally, did anyone visit your home within 48 hours of becoming sick until today? No, ma'am. Since you are positive for COVID-19, it is very important that you stay at home and distance yourself from others so that you don't pass, pass on the infection to anyone else. So, you will be required to isolate. That means, stay at home until you are fever-free for 3 days and 10 days after your symptoms first appeared. You will also be required to monitor your symptoms for all the days you are in isolation. Being in isolation is a legal requirement and your local health department will issue a legal isolation order to you. Do you agree to allow us to send you the isolation order by email? By accepting the, the order this way, you are allowing health of, officials to spend more time focusing on slowing the spread of the virus. Now, I am going to discuss about how you should self-isolate to protect others and in your household from exposure. Stay in one room away from others as much as possible. Use a separate bathroom. Stay at least 6 feet from others and wear a face mask. Sleep in a private room with the door closed. Have food prepared by others and delivered to your door. Use disposable eating utensil if possible. Bag any garbage and leave it outside your door for pick up. Then have someone else to take care of your pets if possible and have someone else to do your laundry. Prohibit visitors who do not have an essential need to be in the home. Also, you are allowed to walk outside of your house on your property but you should remain 6 feet away from others and wear a mask. You should not leave your property home or apartment except to get medical care. Do not visit public areas. Are you able to isolate yourself at home away from other household members for at least 10 days and until symptoms clear? Yes, ma'am. Is where you live safe from intruders? Yes, ma'am. Go. Are there shared common areas in the house or apartment? No, ma'am. Go. Do you need to use the same kitchen as other? Can food be brought to you? Go. Yes, ma'am. Let me know if you have any concerns about being able to isolate. It is important that we work together to prevent the spread of illness. How do you feel about these guidelines? Do you anticipate any challenges in following these guidelines? So, no, ma'am. Again? As I said, you need to be monitored during the time you will be in isolation. We will be calling you daily for the next 14 days and will ask about how you are doing. Your temperature, any symptoms, and any needs. Do you have a working thermometer? So, yes, ma'am. As we discussed, you will need to be isolated for at least 10 days from when you started to feel sick because you will not be able to go out in public i want to ask you if you think that you need will need help with supplies or resource, resources during this time for example it is important yet that you have enough food to last until at least next week will you need any medications delivered to you yes ma'am how about uh, do you have enough cleaning or household supplies available yes ma'am do you need any assistance taking care of your pets or children for whom you are the primary care caregiver? No, ma'am. No. Oh. Do you need a caregiver to help you with your daily activities? No, no ma'am. You may be able to identify a friend, neighbor, or a family member who can assist you, but if not, please let me know as soon as possible if you need help. You can reach me to talk about my additional about any additional needs that you may have. So, my mother, Vizayda Makapini, can assist me for my necessities. Please let me know if you feel unsafe in your home now or in any point during your home isolation. I'm okay at home. Oh. Being infected with COVID-19, being in isolation for many days, and all that goes with it is a very trying experience. When can also We can also arrange for you to talk with a trained professional if you are feeling anxious or depressed. That would be great, ma'am. I am glad that you feel well enough to be home at this time. However, I want to be sure we have an we have a plan in case you start to feel worse and think you need to see a doctor. If you feel that you need immediate emergency medical care, do not hesitate to call the Rescue 165. In addition to telling the operator about your emergency, you should tell the operator that you have been diagnosed with COVID-19 
some signs of an emergency including the trouble breathing, persistent pain of, or pressure in the chest, new confusion, inability to wake or stay awake, bluish lips or face, bad injury or other emergency not related to COVID-19. Do you have a health care provider and do you know how are you able to get in touch with him or her? Do you have health insurance? Yes, ma'am. If you do not feel well but feel that you do not need immediate emergency medical care, please call your primary care physician or the health department to discuss changes to your health. Okay, ma'am. Thank you very much for your time. The information you've shared is very helpful in keeping you safe, protecting those around you, and understanding the disease. Do you have any questions for me? I don't have any questions, ma'am. Thank you so much. I will call you again tomorrow to get you monitored. And if you have other questions or clarification, you may call, my, you may call this number. Thank you for your cooperation.